SBUFalcons.com here with Harry Cavill after an 87-79 home win over Simon Fraser. Um, Harry, you got some revenge. They won in Vernon, BC about a month ago in the previous meeting. Your thoughts on this win? Yeah, big win for us. Uh, the league is kind of just all over the place right now, so any win is big, but it felt good to get them back. They popped us pretty good up in Canada, so it was good to get this win. Uh, hopefully we get some momentum rolling going forward. Get it back and forth early on. In fact, they had a little bit of a lead early, and then you uh, finished the second half really strong. What uh, What's changed? Yeah, um, I think just energy. I think uh, talking on defense helped us out a lot, and then uh, Devontae really got it rolling, uh, especially end of the first half. He kind of carried us into the half, and then we just uh, used that momentum going into the second half to kind of put him away early. He did indeed. Devontae Moffitt finished with 21 first half points at a season-high 32 today. Um, he scored eight at the end, and then the team set up a play uh, at the last possession to put uh, Sharif Khan in the left corner there where he's had so much success. Um, just talk about what happened there in the last shot of the half. Yeah, so Vontae scored eight straight, he said. Um, obviously, they're going to be focused on him. They doubled him. He hit Shaw. Sharif's man helped to Shaw, and then Shaw swung it for one extra to Sharif. So just good team basketball. Um, Devontae did a good job of accepting the double team and then kicking it to his teammate. So it was really cool. You've been here for the duration of Sharif's con time, uh, his time here at SPU. You've seen him hit a lot of shots from that left corner. Yep. What is your thought when you see him winding up to shoot one from that location? I always think it's good. Um, he hit a big one his freshman year. So this was 2016 or 2017. Um, Game, game tying shot, buzzer beater, from the left corner by our bench. So uh, we kind of joke about it that that's Sharif's corner. And, yeah, seriously, every time he shoots it, I expect it to go in. You had a great night, 17 points and 9 rebounds, just one away from a double-double. What did you think about your performance? Yeah, uh, just trying to be aggressive, uh, trying to finish through contact a little better. Um, and, yeah, just crashing the boards. I think most of them were offensive, uh, which was good for us just to get some extra possessions. And then uh, to be even on the boards with a team that's as big as they are um, and as athletic as they are is really good for us. Those nine rebounds uh, moved you into the top ten all-time at SPU. Your thoughts on that, and do you pay any attention to those career numbers? Yeah, I, uh, I think it's really cool. It's a cool achievement. I don't pay much attention to it. Um, but it's really cool, it's an honor, uh, and I think it's just a testament to, to Coach Leap and my teammates and everyone putting me in positions to uh, just be successful. Great. Well, you may not be paying attention, but you're keeping the record keeper busy. You also uh, rank seventh all-time in career points. Now, after today, going to move in the top ten. There are only four players in SPU history who are both in the top ten of the rebounding and scoring charts. Uh, remarkable achievement, your thought on that. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, again, I think just uh, a testament. I, I am very blessed that Coach Lee believed in me, uh, came in as a walk-on and, and worked really hard, and he rewarded it. And I'm super appreciative for uh, just my time here and um, everything that we've been able to achieve as, as a team. You mentioned your time here. Saturday's the final regular season home game. There's a chance GNAC games, uh, you may play a GNAC game here tournament. Um, but we're not sure, so that could be your final appearance here in Brom Pavilion. What kind of emotions do you think you'll have? Oh, man. Uh, just grateful, I think, is, is the main thing that comes to mind. I might be a little bit sad, um, but it'll be awesome. My family's going to be here, uh, my girlfriend, and uh, just super grateful for my time here and um, feeling very blessed just by the institution, the athletic program, uh, and obviously the basketball program as well. You've been here a long time. There are going to be a lot of lasts here coming up for you. Your last home game Saturday, uh, last regular season games. They have three of them on the road next week, last GNAC tournament, week after that. Hopefully your last NCAA tournament. How, how do you approach each of these milestones? Yeah, um, I think just trying to be in the moment and enjoy it. Um, you know, I've been here for six years, so it kind of feels like a long time coming, but at the same time it always felt really distant and far away. So now that it's here, I'm just trying to enjoy it, stay in the moment, um, be around the guys as much as I can, and just, just value those relationships and um, just enjoying those moments that we have together. Great. In closing, I'm going to go back to today's game. Uh, why don't you talk about Devontae Moffat. At one point, uh, he was out top and just fired a pass uh, to you underneath. Yeah. Uh, why don't you have, describe what happened on that play? Yeah, so I don't remember if it was an offensive rebound, but they were in, in some kind of scramble situation where um, – 
there was kind of some guys in the paint, but then they all dispersed, and I was just standing under the rim, and no one took me. And Vontae has great vision, and he saw it and just kind of threw a little no-look dart to me uh, for an easy land. So that was just a great setup by him. It certainly was. Well, Harry, um, thanks so much for your time. Congratulations on a great game and win, and uh, good luck on Senior Day Saturday. Thank you, Dan.